The siege of Cyrocena was a Bosporan siege led by Satyrus II and Meniscus on the fortified capital city of the Cyruses, Cyrocena. It that occurred in 309 BC during the first Bosporan civil war, the Cyruses were a Hellenized Sarmatian tribe that had sided with Eumelos, a claimant to the Bosporan throne and a brother of Satyrus. Chapter 1, Prelude Before the siege, the Bosporan army which had been composed of 34,000 troops had successfully defeated and routed Arifans and Eumelos, and the Cyrusan army of 42,000, during the battle of the river Thatis. Satyros gave immediate chase to his younger brother, where he came up the Cyrusan capital city of Cyrusina which was heavily fortified and situated on that the river Thatis. Knowing that he could not take the city, he plundered the surrounding countryside and took on many prisoners. Chapter 2, Siege Satyros too had his men cut through the trees that surrounded the easiest entryway of the city for a total of four days, although on the third day, they began to experience missile fire and arrows from the Cyrusans on the city's walls, they could not fight back as the woods were too thick and could not see who was firing at them, or from where. On the fourth day, they were able to reach the wall and enter the city. As soon as he made it through, Meniscus fought with great valour and boldness against his enemies, but had to retreat once a larger force of Cyrusans had arrived at his location. Seeing his friend in danger, Satyrus rushed to his aid and fought valiantly, but was struck with a spear to his right shoulder and he was carried to camp. Satyrus died that night, and Meniscus gave up the siege and took his body back to Panticopium. Chapter 3, Aftermath Meniscus returned the body of his friend Satyros to his younger brother Pritinus, who then assumed the title of Basileos and continued his brother's war against his other brother Eumelos. Pritinus would later be spared, to only be later killed after his attempt to usurp his brother Eumelos and he would become ruler of the Bosporan kingdom, and expand its fame and naval power in the Black Sea.